Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams and another takeaway, which is how we can add extra apps into our team. So, for example, we're going to look at how you can use the plus icon just at the top to pin in extra apps such as Flipgrid and Wakelet. So, just to talk about how this might be useful, so if, for example, you think of Wakelet, what we can do is we can pin a Wakelet to our team. And this Wakelet could include information and resources and PowerPoints that you want students to have a look at and then discuss in the team. We could also look at Flipgrid and how we could use that. So for example, you might be asking them to do a task and then record a response. But using this with Teams is really good because it gives one central location for the students. So let's have a look at how we can pin apps such as Flipgrid and Wakelet to our Microsoft team. You can see here I'm in my test class and what I'm going to do is go to the general channel and click plus. This will give me all of the apps that I might want to add. For example, PowerPoint. So here, as you can see, I'm clicking PowerPoint and I'm going to upload a lesson presentation to that tab. What you'll see now is that PowerPoint has been attached to the channel in the tabs at the top. What you can do is you can also rename this by clicking the little arrow and choosing rename. So, for example, you could call this lesson one. Now, pinning PowerPoints is really useful because it means that the students can have quick access to that particular lesson's presentation. You can also add Flipgrid, and Flipgrid's great to get discussions going and video responses. So to add this, you click on the Educator login, then log in, and then choose the grid that you wish to add. And you can add the entire class grid if you want, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm just going to copy the link. In there, I then paste this link to that grid. This is really useful because then the students can access that Flipgrid directly from the team. So let's have a look at what it looks like for students. They would log in, they would put in their username and password. So here you can see I'm just putting in mine, which is phil.wired at North Lindsay, and then clicking next. Here you'll see now that the grid has been made and they can even access the various topics and respond to. So this is really useful. This will allow the students to basically reply and work with Flipgrid without leaving the Microsoft Teams interface. You can also add extra things, such as Wakelet, and Wakelet's great for collecting resources and information and revision materials. What you'll need to do is enter the link to the Wakelet. So, as you can see now, I'm going to go on Wakelet and I'm going to choose a collection. So, let's say we was doing eSafety, and I've created a Wakelet about eSafety. I can copy the link, and make sure you copy the top link, the big link, and then click Save. What this will do then is it will pin the Wakelet directly to that general channel. So this is really, really useful. You can also pin in Wakelets and Flipgrids and PowerPoints to private channels as well. So if you've got a support channel, for example, they would be able to pin in an extra resource for more support. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.